Fatty Liver Grade 3. Fatty Liver has three different grades. Grade 1, 2 and 3. Each of the different grades is associated with certain types of symptoms, and as they progress, they can result in death. Fatty Liver Grade 1 is the beginning stages of fatty liver. Fatty liver grade 2 is where more and more fat accumulates in the liver and the liver starts to decrease its functionality. The cells responsible for performing different functions are dying off as the fat invades the cells. The medical condition is getting even more desperate and medical attention is needed. Remember to comment, share and like the video. Click on the bell to be informed of the latest videos uploaded. Thanks. Fatty liver grade 3 is the most serious of all. In this condition, the liver has the accumulations of fat. It has spread throughout the entire liver. It has now become inflamed. The inflammation in the liver calls upon the rest of the body to help and circulation is sent in to try to remedy the situation but the liver is too weak to even respond. The arteries and veins are having a difficult time trying to pump in nutrients and pump out toxins. Congestion is appearing. The patient's skin takes on a yellow color from the jaundice. At this point, you may see kaput medusa. This is where the veins of the abdomen become visible through the skin. It may appear as if there is a snake right under the surface of the skin over the abdomen. The abdomen is distended as well. There is also cirrhosis of the liver, where normal liver cells are being replaced by fibrotic cells that have the appearance of scarring. The more scarring in the cells, the less chance of having normal function. Blood tests will show elevated liver enzymes, ALT and AST. There will be abnormal levels of albumin and the prothrombin levels will also be abnormal. This occurs because the liver is unable to make clotting factors. Symptoms are worsening in grade 3. The condition may progress to the point where the patient becomes unconscious and is in a coma or to the point where kidney dialysis is needed. At this point, diet changes are drastic. Calorie intake has been reduced significantly because the body cannot process food. The protein levels in the diet are low because the liver can't detoxify the protein. This is an oxymoron because protein is needed to rebuild the liver. Salt intake has been severely restricted. Remember to comment, share and like the video. Click on the bell to be informed of the latest videos uploaded. Thanks. Still, there are diet changes you can make to feel better. Changing to a healthy diet is always a good idea, as is eliminating alcohol from your diet. Get more information here. https://bit.ly/2p3gz9j